It was once just an idea until breaking ground in November of 2016, and now here it is in all its glory. Spectacular SoFi Stadium here in Metropolitan Los Angeles. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Dallas Cowboys. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. And the Los Angeles Chargers. Their own 26-yard line. On first down, it's Herbert. And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. Herbert, the game's first play, produces six yards. Brings up second down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A gain of 13, it's a first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. They'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and 10, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. 38-yard line, second and nine. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. Neville Gallimore. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and six. Out of the gun, Herbert. Complete. Well, it's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. So on fourth down, on comes the Charger kicker, Michael Badgley. It'll be spotted on the right hash. A 52-yard attempt. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. Nothing, nothing. And this will remain a game. Good field position to start the drive after the missed field goal. Here's first down from the 42. Well, listen, now, no kick from 50-plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome. You'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, and it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their backgrounds. They were all county, all state, and other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. Dak dropping this one off for Zeke. Give him six on the play, and that'll make it a second down. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four at the Chargers' 39-yard line. shotgun it's Prescott and his throw here is incomplete the coverage was good but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play I think he was expecting something else ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully yards to go now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down to the air again, Prescott. Open man, Lamb. It's complete. 
And he will have a Cowboys first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. Third and four is always a tough call. Maybe a little too long to run for it, but not too long to hit him on the quick slant. And that was well executed. Found the window and zipped it right in there. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he struggles to get a yard here, maybe a yard, down to the 31. Justin Jones. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Prescott from the gun. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. The sack by big number 98, Linval Joseph. And it's third down. Third and long. We're scoreless after one. With no score. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a third down and long coming up. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. The L.A. defense up the snuff in coverage there, pushes this to fourth down. They went with the dime look that time on defense, just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. Cowboys trot out Greg Zerline. This officially a 55-yard attempt. He's got the leg, but it's no good. He missed it right, and this will remain a scoreless game. Now they're set up nicely at the 45-yard line after the missed field goal from 55. So it's an empty possession, and as a kicker, not the way you want to start your day's work. And now each team's missed a field goal here so far, Brandon, so apparently neither guy is immune. They tried to swing it out left into the flat, but the defense, they were very principled there. It felt very West Coast offense, didn't it? You know you know their expression, right? On a West Coast offense, when they throw the ball, it's either going to be a touchdown or a check down, meaning they like to press it downfield. If they don't have it, swing it out, which is exactly what we saw there. But how about the great pursuit and tackle to make a nice play? Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. A first down there on a pickup of 25. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. Now it's Herbert. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. 11 more on that one, and another first down. First and 10 at the 20-yard line. <laughs> Herbert operating from the red zone. That is caught. And the Chargers are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. To me, that's a terrific run on first and goal at the three. They got two yards. I'd line right back up and give it to him again. Second and goal from the one. Herbert now. And he takes it in for the Charger touchdown. Keenan Allen with a touchdown reception from Justin Herbert as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Michael Badgley on for the extra point. And the Chargers grab the 7 0 lead. Here is good. Makes the score. 
Chargers seven. Cowboys nothing. This is Tony Pollard. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. They go over the middle, and it's complete to start the drive. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And picked up by the Chargers. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Chargers. Look at this, a tight end carry. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. On second down, Eckler. And he'll get maybe a couple before he's taken down as that will take us to the two-minute warning. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Third and nine. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. And right side, Henry's got it. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. The completion good fully six, and that'll bring up four. Well, the coverage was tight that time. They allowed the pass underneath to him, but they rallied to him pretty fast, too. Converged on him and got him down. That'll bring up fourth down. Well, they'll say no to the 46-yard field goal try. They're going to go for it. They'll run for it with Eckler. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. That was fourth and what we would call long in that situation, wasn't it? That wasn't fourth and inches, was it? No, I mean, you get in those situations, fourth and three, fourth and four, that's that's a lot to, what, what would you say, a lot of pizza left in that box. <laughs> it certainly is. <laughs> Not everyone dove in on that one. In today's NFL, this is a passing down. This is not a running down. That takes a lot of guts to call that play and even better execution. That one good for 13 and a Charger first. yard line. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. A shotgun snap for Herbert. And this is complete. It's Allen. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Second and five from the eight. Operating from the gun, Herbert. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Hunter Henry there to make the grab. The Chargers, they're able to widen their lead. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here.
Long now will kick it away following the touchdown. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That could be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. To throw is Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Prescott. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Prescott yet again. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the Sear Annerly, and he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. Final 24 seconds of the first half as they come up here first and 10. Back to throw here, Herbert. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. On first down, Justin Herbert. He'll get this to Eckler. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Herbert on first down now. And this complete to Henry over the middle. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. They had two straight first downs, now a gain of nine to set up second and one. So we come upon halftime with our score 14 to nothing. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Now Pollard. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And the interception last time on the opponent's side of the field, certainly not what they wanted. Put it mildly, that is so frustrating because that signifies there's a drive going on. You're in a good spot, great place to run some of your best offense. Instead, they turn the ball over. They turned the ball over last time. See if they can avoid doing it here. Second and five now. Prescott got his man there complete to Gallup. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. A first down carry by Elliott. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. And Murray's still down. Maybe shaking up that go around. Let's hope he's all right. More from L.A. in a moment.
second and five. Prescott down. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver. That makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Elliott, the ball it's carrier. a gain of three, and it gets him the first. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and ten. They keep on the ground with Elliott. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And now you have to wonder, partner, at what point in time do they forget the running game? It's been a struggle so far in this one. I would think they'd have to start throwing it a little bit more. Second and 11 now. Looking to throw. Prescott able to hit his target lamb. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You gotta be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. Elliot. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Under pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Melvin Ingram dropping the hammer off the edge. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. And he finds his target. It's Schultz. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. And this is good. He got just enough to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14 to 3. So a good drive there to begin quarter number three, but they're only able to shave three points off the lead. Well, something's better than nothing. All right, they didn't play particularly well in the first half, but they definitely need them to step on the accelerator now and play a whole lot better. Zerline back out there now to send this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. It's Charger football, and they've got the lead as well as we begin the fourth quarter. 
The Charger drive about to get going. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. To throw again, Herbert. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 11 yards there, first down. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. On first down, it's Herbert. And that's into the hands of Eckler. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Herbert back to the air. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. What terrifies defenses when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move, and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. Has a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal game. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. Cowboys take over first down. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. Decent start to the drive there. Of course, they need the touchdown, two-point conversion, and a field goal. Yeah, those guys are into it. How about the guys on the sidelines? You see the coaches signaling, all the personnel groups up on the sideline, ready to go in and out of the game. They've got to condense their time now in order to try and get back into it. Dak dropping this one off for Zeke. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Well, that's not exactly how they drew that one up, nor practiced it, because on first down, you're trying to get some yardage to set up second and third down calls. In this case, had to drop it off to his running back. But boy, they closed quickly on that one and stopped him behind the line of scrimmage. Throwing again on second down. Prescott. They still can't get it. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Sometimes guys get locked into such a groove. What do we call it? The game slowing down. They see everything happening almost in slow motion. They see the lanes develop. I feel like he's right there. Well, and you want this from your leader, right? With this deficit, this stage of the game, second half, no quit in him. Zero. Prescott on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. And it's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 44-yard line. Oh, 
Prescott from the gun. Over the middle, Cooper with it. And he'll be pulled down, and now a late flag will come with it. And that's in the area of a face mask, I think. A big play that time on a catch and run. 30 yards. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off down near the five. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. At their own eight-yard line. They'll start on the ground with Kelly. And a short pickup here as he'll get across the 10 to the 11-yard line. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Here is Eckler. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Going on the ground with Eckler. He'll have a first down past the 40, and he'll take it to the 43-yard line. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. I guess he was saving his best for last, so to speak. Longest run of the day coming here in the fourth quarter right there. And that type of run makes for a better night for him and his teammates, doesn't it? To be able to produce this late in the game can lead to some big smiles and satisfaction in the locker room after this one's over. Victory formation time for the Chargers. They take a knee. <laughs> Herbert to a knee, and that should just about write it into this one. So this one's over. It's in the win column for the L.A. Chargers. And it was a bit of a strange game. They were held scoreless through the entire second half. But their first half output, that's enough to carry them to victory. And that's an odd game to watch, isn't it? Because when we saw the output in the first half, you think to yourself, okay, they've got something working here. They know what they're doing. They'll continue that along. But instead, it's goose eggs in the second half. Fortunately, enough of a cushion and enough defense to carry them home. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long, everybody.